One mission at the U.S. Department of Agriculture's Eastern Regional Research Center near Philadelphia is the development of systems to aid in the distribution of perishable agricultural commodities. In connection with this, Agricultural Research Service engineers are making improvements in dehydrated food products. They've developed a process which makes dehydrated fruit and vegetable pieces that can rehydrate rapidly, providing a quick cooking ability. It's called explosion puffing and can now be done on a continuous basis. Dehydrated foods now on the market are shriveled and hard and can take more than a half hour to cook. This disadvantage has been overcome by the explosion puffing process, making each piece porous for fast reconstitution. Here, carrots are beginning the process. They go through a lye peeler, are washed, and then trimmed. They are then diced into approximately 3 8 inch pieces and go through a blancher. Blanching with steam and atmospheric pressure inactivates enzymes within the vegetable. This keeps the food fresher longer. The carrot cubes then go through a large air drying machine to begin dehydration. It's here the process departs from the conventional air drying method. The drying is interrupted when the moisture content drops to about 25%. The dehydration process is then resumed in this newly developed continuous puffing device. It consists of two inlet valves, a steam jacketed heating chamber, an outlet valve, and a puffing device. Opening and closing of the valves, pressurizing of the chambers, and operation of the puffer are controlled in the proper sequence from a master camshaft, which operates pneumatic pistons on the valve stems. The partially dried pieces of food enter at a controlled rate into the feed hopper. A valve allows a certain amount of material into the feed chamber, which is then pressurized to the level of the heating chamber. Another valve then allows the food to drop onto a conveyor belt. The material remains in the heating chamber for up to one minute. Coming off the conveyor belt, the pieces fall into the discharge chamber. After the valve closes, the discharge valve instantly opens and the pieces explode from the machine by the instantaneous decrease in pressure. This instant release gives the cubes a puffed, porous structure. It's this characteristic that gives the food its quick cooking ability. A final air drying, now quickly done due to the food's porosity, further reduces moisture content to about 5%. Before, this process could only be accomplished in batches, using this batch gun. But now, using the new device, researchers can continually explode material at the rate of up to three pounds every 12 seconds, or about a thousand pounds an hour. Explosion puffing is only slightly more expensive than conventional air drying methods. Since the process uses the same equipment, except for the puffing device, it's readily adaptable to present processing lines. Research in the center's test kitchen shows that explosion puffing produces improvement in the texture and appearance of the food. In five minutes cooking time, the conventionally dried product is still shriveled and will take another 30 minutes or so to cook thoroughly. But because explosion puffed foods are porous, they can be quickly rehydrated. In the same five minutes, the puffed carrots are cooked and ready to be eaten. All in all, cooking time for fresh fruits and vegetables can be cut by as much as 80% over conventionally air-dried products. Explosion puffed foods have also rated high in consumer taste tests. The final result can mean not only quicker preparation at home, but easier institutional feeding and the possibility of inclusion in dehydrated soup mixes. The explosion puffing process has been tested on several different foods. Not only can carrots be used, but white potatoes in pieces as large as three-quarter inch by a half inch by a half inch. Sweet potatoes, apples, even whole blueberries, among others. Some of the puffed foods can actually be eaten as a crunchy snack without cooking. Continuous explosion puffing is a practical development, and further attention is expected from industry. Currently, researchers are extending the process to other food products, refining it mechanically, and puffing larger pieces of food. Yes, product utilization and convenience technology are getting a helping hand from agricultural research through explosion puffing.